Hi, I got some uh, new oscilloscope probes today. I was just gonna take them out of the box and uh, take a look at them. It's this uh, Hantec T3100 probe. Uh, first to note about uh, ordering these things, I initially ordered some from Amazon. I ordered a two-pack of Hantec uh, T3100 oscilloscope probes. And that's the thing that showed up from Amazon. It's got a label on it right there. This is two pieces Hantec T3100 oscilloscope probes. But you'll notice it's got a selector. And on the back it said Hantec PP8150-200 probe. So I called Amazon, said you sent me the wrong probe. They promised to send the right probe. Said they knew what they were doing and uh, absolutely sure they wouldn't send the wrong one again. And of course they sent me a replacement of the exact same thing. Fortunately they said uh, we'll refund all your money you can just uh, keep that because we don't know what we're doing. So be careful ordering from Amazon there's like lots of reviews that people get the wrong probes when they order from Amazon resellers so I went and I ordered on eBay direct from someplace in China because that's where the probes coming from anyway. And I ordered them individually I ordered two T3100 probes and this is what showed up Take it out of the box. Instruction sheet. Probe. Um, in here is some kind of uh, alignment tool. And a little cap if you want to take that off. Put this other tip on it instead. It seems to fit all right. Metal area is kind of exposed there. Got that one goes on there. It's like a reasonably sturdy probe. The adjustment is back here. One one thing I wanted to show about this is this ground lead. It is molded into the probe. It's not removable or replaceable. You know, so sometimes it, it is nice to be able to get rid of the ground lead and get rid of any chance of picking up stray interference along of it. And you can't do that with this one. I don't know if that's just part of what they did to attain the higher voltage rating um, but just be aware that is fixed you can unhook the tip and I'll see if it does fit does fit a BNC adapter these BNC adapters are really handy if you need to test something that has a BNC jack so it's, it's nice to know it does seem to fit to fit that BNC adapter Okay, I've got it hooked up to my old DS1052, up to the uh, calibration spot on it. I'll take the calibration tool, see how it fits in here. Yeah, it seems to do what it should. So the probe does calibrate. Um, now let's try hooking it up to some voltage. Okay, I have hooked the probe up to my high voltage uh, experimenter. I will turn on. And then we can go over here and see what we get. I've got the probe configured. Uh, let's switch it over to DC. It is set to uh, 100 times. Menu off. And uh, let me uh, clear out the measurements. Voltage. Max. Voltage. Min. Voltage peak to peak. So it's hooked up. My uh, power supply over here is currently reading uh, about 79 volts. That's ballpark. I haven't calibrated the uh, the LCD displays on the power supply, so that's certainly ballpark on what it ought to be. And we'll ramp this up. I'm at 150 volts DC.
250. That maybe is as we're going to go there. Yeah, let's put it on the 200 volt scale. So we're up to about 350. Bring this down. Uh, my power supply is reading uh, 450. The scope is reading uh, somewhere between 424 and 448. We'll, I will zoom in on that a minute and figure out how much ripple my power supply is producing. That seems like an interesting test now that we have a high voltage probe. Um, so here I've got uh, topped out on my power supply. It's reading 473. The scope is saying between uh, 440 and 464. Uh, let me switch this into AC. Turn the menu off. Let's take this. I don't see any ripple on there. Yeah, so now we're getting uh, one volt peak to peak on uh, ripple on the scope. That seems pretty good. And uh, I guess just the reason I bought this is is I'm starting to do some work on some high voltage stuff, some uh, old tube amplifier stuff. Wanted a little more voltage range than you'll get with a, a times ten times uh, one probe. So I got myself a couple of these times one hundred probes. This thing, according to the spec sheet is good to, um, so I don't know if you can read that, but that tops out there at about 2,000 volts up to about a megahertz and then from there it drops down, I don't know, it looks like around 500 volts at uh, 10 megahertz. Okay, finally let's hook this up to my uh, RF generator project and uh, see how it performs. So I, I hooked it up using one of these uh, BNC adapters. This doesn't, BNC adapter doesn't come with probe. I had to get it separately on eBay. It does fit the probe and I have a 50 ohm terminator stuck right on the RF generator. Plugging the probe into the terminated output and right now we're at about 450 kilohertz. Let's go on up to some higher ranges. There we're at about 14 megahertz. Here we are on the 20 megahertz to 56 megahertz band. There we are up to 85 megahertz. I'm down to 31 and this is my highest band it goes from around 50 all the way up to 125 so yeah it uh, it worked you know I, I don't have a good reference to check and see if, if the amplitude we're reading how how accurate that is but the probe is is working out fine Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.